Hi. Hi. So you're you're not jet lagged anymore. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. What day is it? I don't uh, know. I know she got back. So we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. You were like on a plane for like seventy 50. hours. Well, I think it was about fifty five hours actually flying to be in Rwanda for a day and a half. Yeah, because I had to work and someone had to be there for the groundbreaking, so that's what you get for giving me that gift. That's it. Um, <laughs> so that was my 60th birthday, and then uh, then in January, just last month, I was turned 61, and uh, what'd you get me? <laughs> tell, tell everybody what you got me. Gardening tools. That's right. <laughs> but. She likes to garden. I do, I do. All right, so uh, the, when we went before for my birthday, uh, the trip was incredible, and, yeah. and hiking up a mountain to see gorillas is just, it's, you know, it's incredible, but you have to look for them because it's a jungle and it's a mountain and you have to find them. And it was so, it was just pouring down raining and it was muddy and we're sinking yeah. down. It was just, this is us last year, and you're just trying to find a path and we're sinking into it, but down to our yeah. knees. It was, it was. It rains in Rwanda. Yeah, it was. It's so beautiful, but it was so wet. It was miserable. That's us. Yeah. And yeah. let's show a picture of you going just last right. week and what you had to go through, you poor thing. Let's do it. Yep. Bright sunshine. <laughs> flat land. No, no. Any, it was unbelievable. You were, you were there. It was incredible, I have to say. And everybody that was with me saying, you know, should we just kind of not tell Ellen how <laughs> great it was played down? I was like, hell no, let's play it up. Yeah. <laughs> because first of all, you have to experience that, that day, that kind of weather. I mean, just it, the topography was so beautiful, walking through bamboo, everything was gorgeous. So you just have to do it again. Yeah, I mean, come on. And this is, this is her seeing them. This is not footage we found from the National Geographic. This is like, you were like, how close to that baby? Uh, I mean, a little baby at one point started just waddling over to me and I just wanted to pick it up and kiss it on its fuzzy head. I just, I'm obsessed with baby gorillas. I, I just love but them But look so at those gorillas. So they close. look like they had a blowout. They have, they have I know. like conditioner on their hair. I saw different gorillas that were just sitting there <laughs> shivering, soaking wet, not happy. Yeah, it was That's what sunshine you saw. and And you were playful. scared. The first time we saw them when we went, yeah. we were a little scared because the, the, the adults are huge. Yeah, well, you, you don't know what to expect and right. people tell you certain things like don't look them in the eyes and- Don't point. You don't point. The first thing I did was look at that. Um, <laughs> but, but, and you know, they're, they're, you know, quite magnificent creatures and huge. This time, I was just praying that one of them would, would come up very close to me and, and push me down because they don't want to push you down. They just want to eat whatever's behind you. And, you know, one of the, the females came so close to me, I just stood my ground. I thought, please push me, please push me. Yeah. <laughs> I want a gorilla hand on me because you're not supposed to touch them, obviously, because of disease transference and. But they, but they basically will just bump into you on their way past you. It's really a life changing experience. If, if I, I hope, and especially once the campus is built, I hope everybody has a chance to go to Rwanda and experience this. Tell everybody about the groundbreaking. So it was an incredible experience. I mean, I just couldn't believe the feeling of gratitude, um, which was really overwhelming for me. I, just not just from people that are going to directly benefit, but just the, the entire area. Because there are 1,500 jobs that will be created. Millions of dollars will go into the economy because of your campus. And uh, it, was, it was a really special, pretty overwhelming moment. Yeah. It was amazing because, you know, I, the reason she gave me this, this gift is because I've always loved what Diane Fossey did when I was growing up. I knew who she was. I knew what she did. And I love animals. And, and mountain gorillas are just incredible, uh, intelligent creatures. But then we went to Rwanda and we fell in love with the people of the country yeah. because the people are happy and, and friendly. And it's, it's a beautiful country. That is, beautiful country. that is what Diane Fossey has now. And then what we're building that's what we're building. That's what we're building, which so will, this be... will be the yeah the permanent yeah. home. So uh, yeah, beautiful. All right. So yeah. 
I was very jealous because obviously I'm working and I couldn't go, so I, I had to send you, and I appreciate it very much. And uh, you just, you didn't miss a lot. I, I went to Jen Jen's Addison's party. birthday was, party, yeah. but that was not Jen's, anything. Uh, um, you had some folks over, too. Yeah, uh, I had some people at the house. But anyway, the point that I, I was... Just partying, basically, yeah. well, while I was over right. there. Yeah. It's fine, though. Exactly. It's totally fine. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Ah!